You can't walk into a networking event wearing the same thing as everyone else and expect to stand out or get more attention. Introduce you to our keynote speaker tonight, Zach Miller. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Our good friend from Hatch, Mr. Zach Miller. Give him a hand. Here's my one-on-one -on -one with ABC Shark Tank, Damon John. A lot of people uh, hear no and they quit. How, how have you taken no and turned it into a yes in business? Uh, well, you know, for, first of all, a no is always an absolute maybe. So the idea is that you can get a bunch of free publicity from uh, these award competitions, right? There's a lot of local award competitions that most people are too afraid to nominate themselves to do, so they don't do it. Or you could have a friend nominate you. It's really, really easy. Um, but the whole idea is when you hear about an artist, you hear about their accomplishments, right? So Beyonce is, a, I'm just gonna guess, an 11 time Grammy award winning artist. Could be more, could be less, I have no idea. I just made that up. Sorry, Beyonce fans, if I'm way off, okay? <laughs> but the idea is that credibility statement starts becoming what they say, right? The New England Patriots are the five time world champions, right? So then you can start selling those accomplishments even if they're not that big, because they make you look like a winner, even if you don't think they are, and even if you don't think you are yet, and other people will start being like, hmm, this person won an award, so they must know what they're doing. You're right, they knew how to play the game, and they applied, and they won. So my whole thing is, if you qualify, apply. Hello, today we are joined by the author of Anomaly, how to finally stand out from the crowd Zach Miller, welcome. What up? Three, two. What's up? Three, two. What's up, everyone? Three, two. Welcome to Hampton Roads Business oh Weekly. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just it's the glass. Hey, what's up, everyone? Zach here for this week's Zach Hack. Clever name, huh? So in the past, I've told you to use the subject line of your email as a text message. And one way to personalize that even more is to add the person's name to the beginning or end of that. So many of us say, I am going to do what that person did because it seems to be working. If it didn't work for you and you hate it, why would you want to put your prospects, your potential clients in a very similar situation? Three minutes goes by ding dong again i was like all right these neighbors really want to give me brownies so i go to the door hello sir good evening are you the homeowner i was like i've been had so tell me about your security system sir i was like uh actually we're using the security system that has a little stake in the ground right there it came with the home whatever and this guy i just met him 15 seconds ago for about 20 minutes tries to pitch me this business over and over and over again. Guess what I didn't do? So why is your communications and marketing strategy similar to the ones that you hate? Opportunities happen every day. It's what you do with them that matters. So the next time someone asks you to do something or something could potentially happen, raise your hand don't just say no.